And welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Broken Sword 4. I'm Classic Gamer and last time, well we managed to get hold of Mark's card and now we're just about to enter the Black Cat Club. The sign reads, The Black Cat Club. Welcome to the Black Cat, Signora. Well, aren't you in a hurry? Please change before going through, sir. Well, aren't you in a hurry? Please change before going through, sir. Right, so he, he doesn't let you through. So, whatever you do, whatever you try and do, he won't let you through. So, we obviously need... Just one of the many lockers. Number 17. An empty locker. Plastic plants. Maybe I should try that in the bail bond. The place sure needs a makeover. So, here we have a towel. There's a towel hanging from a soap dish. If you try and take it... I guess it belongs to the guy in the shower. This happens. Get your own, senor. So you can't actually do that. Um, and now there is a way you can grab the towel. And the way you do that... Nice plants. You just can't beat plastic's timeless quality. Well, you just can't beat a nice nude. This is the work of Q Lele. Stunning. There. That looks better. Ah, what's behind here? Oh, valves. Looks like a hot water valve. If I turn the valve a little... Ah, oh, hot water at last. A bellissimo. I guess that ought to do. Don't want to boil the guy. And now from all the steam. See, that would never happen. And there's, that, there's no one actually in there. You can't actually see any figure or anything like that. You go like head on to like a on like a screen like that, you're not going to like bounce off it. Time to change. <laughs> ah, that's better. I'll leave all my stuff in one of the lockers for the time being. I'm not going to brave the streets of Rome dressed in a towel. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Have one on me, senor. Oh, thanks. What a kind thought. The receptionist. He looks like he's used to handling more than just membership forms. Well, look at you, all fresh off a flight and looking for some fun. Could I help you? Nothing like a family-owned club, huh? Family? What are you suggesting? Oh, you know, Cosa Nostra, our thing, bada-bing, bada-boom, concrete slippers, wet job, Sicily, Naples, the Godfather, you know what I'm saying here? Oh, I see what you're doing. You are a one, aren't you? Trying to get me into trouble. Do you have an appointment with one of our uh, special employees? Uh, no. I'm here for the steam bath. Plowing a lonely furrow, I see. How romantic. So, who else is a member here? Oh, my dear sir, I couldn't possibly tell you. 
Oh, go on. I can keep a secret. So can I. We are not accepting new members, but if you'd like to recommend a friend, I could put his name down on the list. And that would get me, uh, him, a membership? Provided he passes the screening. What's his name? It's, uh... Look, I'll have to get back to you. I quite understand. Friendships can be so <laughs> delicate, don't you think? Right, so... In this next bit, you're going to meet someone. Uh, person that everyone who played Broken Sword should know. The reception door. Locked. Must be nice to get such positive feedback when you're giving a massage. Locked. Well, you just can't beat a nice nude. Another door. Personnel only. Locked. A naked lady. The artist is Caroline Dean. Beautiful. So there's nothing really you can do here apart from going into one room. And if you come in here, look who it is. Dwayne, the guy has a talent for turning up the most unlikely places. George, my old friend, how are you? Dwayne? My God, is that you? You know me, George, always in the thick of it. Dwayne. God, the first time I met Dwayne and his wife Pearl was in South America. Back then, he nursed this insane idea that he was in the CIA. <laughs> Things haven't changed. Technically, that's wrong. You meet him in Syria in the first game. South America is from the first game, so clearly this game has disregarded the first game. We've got disregarded the fact you were enrolled in Templars, disregarded the fact of why you actually hate Lobino, and that the fact of, you know, in theory, George and Lobino make up after Glass, well, in the third game, they kind of like put things behind them. So, the fact they miss out on number one is a real, it's really bad, really bad. Anyway, let's ask them that Pearl. How's Pearl? Uh, blooming as always, George. In fact, you just reminded me. I've got to get her some Mozart Kugeln before I go home. Mozart Kugeln? Right now. I'm in Salzburg. You know what I mean? Tell me about this place. It gives discount to priests. And that's you these days, is it? Heck, if it gets me air miles, I'll join anything. Is this place owned by the Mafia? Yep. Run by a fella named Spalacci. Spalacci? Here? He's not a guy you want to mess with. Yeah, I've seen him at work. What else do you know about Spalacci? He's got the ear of the Vatican. Don't tell me they want it back. Yeah, that's funny. I'm funny's good, George, but not with this guy. So, Spalacci is head of the whole operation? Now, he's got something big running. Is that what brought you? Oh, I'm just here for the massage, George. <laughs> what are you really doing here? I'm just following the gold, George. Rumor is someone else is out there doing the same. Hmm, maybe that's me. It could be you. Could be a foreign power. Could be my friends over at Langley. I thought you were Langley. Langley? Moi? You gotta move with the times, George. Move with the times. Thanks, Dwayne. That's the madman who stole my towel. Well, George, time for me to disappear. Well, well, well. So who do we have here? A emergency plumber. Where's the girl? Girl? What girl? Anna Maria. You should know. You kidnapped her. I see. 
What about the money? What money? The large sum of money. You're asking the wrong guy. Mr. Stobart, please answer my questions. It will make everything so much less painful in the end. Senior Spallacci, sir. We got a girl. You mean the girl? No, sir. I don't think so. This one's different. She's called... Hey, lady! What's your name? Nico. Nico Collard. Nico? Hey! Nico! It's me, George! She still won't talk, Mr. Spallacci, sir. How very tiresome. What shall I do with her, Mr. Spallacci? This Nico. What does she know? Nothing. She's just a journalist, I promise you. Mr. Spallacci, what do you want me to do? Apparently she knows nothing. Just deal with her. Stick that gun in my face one more time and I'll shove it up your... Ugh, I didn't actually mean... Nico! Oh, my head. Where am I? Nico. Oh, my God, what did I do? I feel like I've been here for hours. <laughs> okay, so we're a little tied up right now. A power switch seems to be connected to something on the top shelf. Yeah, a little bit of a vibrator. I've cleared up for you, sir. Keep the stick, sir. I wonder what he's doing in there. Excuse me? Yes? Are you okay in there? What's it to you? I'm just being neighborly. Well, don't. Right, I'm we're going to save the now. game. A harness? That's bizarre. Right, what you actually want to do is... He's knock off the baby, baby oil. oil. Yeah, now the floor is slippery, and now I can slide on it. I've cleared that for you, sir. All right, I think I know what to do. Oh yeah, I'm free. Free. Now, how do I get out okay, of here? Okay, so we're going to actually get out of here in the next video, guys. So as always, don't forget to subscribe, drop me a like, and leave me a comment, and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Bye for now.